Well, I mean, the, uh, to me, the obvious guy to talk about the WCW story would have been Eric Bischoff. But the trouble was at the time, Eric already had his own podcast called Bischoff on Wrestling, and I didn't think it was very good. Uh, because, and, and again, it's a different format, but they were talking about current stuff. And I didn't want to hear Eric Bischoff's opinion of what happened on Monday Night Raw. I want to know what happened on Nitro in 1997. when That's what I was more interested in. But I thought at the time, maybe we just had different visions. And I had met Eric once before, and uh, I had a, a good feeling that maybe Eric didn't really like me all that much. Uh, yeah, there you go. So either way, we... Uh, B Eric and I had a conversation, but ultimately I chose Tony Schiavone because I felt like Tony Schiavone, for lack of a better word, was not overexposed. He hadn't done shoot interviews. He hadn't done books. Uh, he hadn't sort of told his side of the story. And I had the good fortune of seeing him do a stage show with Jim Valley in Charlotte at the NWA Legends Fan Fest that Greg Price used to put on. Yep. And uh, Tony used the F word like a comma. <laughs> It was very Bob Saget-esque. Right, right. And so it's like, here's our TV dad that we're, we're used to from Full House, but now he has the most foul mouth ever. Well, that's Tony Schiavone. Right. You know, we're desperately out of time. And then just F-bomb, F-bomb, F-bomb. It's like, this is tremendous. So anyway, I reached out to him, wrote a really nice letter, and uh, at the time he was looking to finance his daughter's wedding and thought, hey, this could be it. And when I explained it to Bruce, I said, you know, he started with JCP in 83, and he's there until 01 with a one-year break where he worked for Vince. But the rest of the time, we could talk about Crockett, all the WCW bosses, and Vince back in the day. This is the right guy. Because nobody else really had that connective tissue to go all the way back to Jim Crockett. Sure. So Tony was the guy, and I, I, I got to say, Bruce and Tony being back in wrestling at the highest level, making more money than ever, is the coolest thing that has come out of all of the nonsense that we've done in the wrestling space.